The House of Representatives has called on the federal government to provide increased support to the Nigerian military and other law enforcement agencies to ensure they have the necessary resources to continue the critical work in protecting and serving the nation. The House also commended the military and law enforcement agencies for the dedication and heroism during the Borno flooding disaster, recognizing their efforts in the rescue mission. Correspondents in Nabuji, Okinabuji, sent in this report. This followed the motion of urgent public importance by Honorable Ahmed Jaha, who also urged the Ministry of Water Resources to take preventive measures to avoid future flood disasters. On the day of the flood, our military and other law enforcement agencies responded with exceptional speed and coordination. Their swift deployment of rescue operations not only saved numerous lives, but also provided necessary aid and support to the affected families. The key points to be considered are, one, rapid response. The military immediately responds to the disaster, showcased their readiness and commitment to humanitarian efforts. The House of Representatives also called on the federal government to review the budgetary allocation of the National Orientation Agency NOA in future budgets to support effective reorientation of citizens in line with current realities. To urge the NOA to increase its visibility across media platforms, produce engaging content to promote government policies and collaborate with key stakeholders, including ministries, agencies, traditional institutions, religious bodies and civil society organizations, to improve public enlightenment campaigns. Honorable Adewale Ahmed in the motion highlighted concerns over the agency's inadequate funding and the need for citizens' reorientation, particularly in addressing youth restiveness and social vices. Concern that the existing funding provided for the agency is grossly inadequate to meet the extensive responsibilities of the agency and its offices across the nation. Also concerned that given the prevailing trend of youth restiveness and social vices in the nation, there is definitely an urgent need. The lower chamber further resolved to promote sustainable practices and green projects across government ministries, department agencies, MDAs, and the private sector. Honorable Daniel Lamas, who raised the motion, highlighted the focus area of the initiative, including conservation, afforestation, renewable energy adoption, waste reduction, ecosystem restoration, and recycling, prog and recycling programs tailored to Nigeria's context. He noted that the African Carbon Market Initiative predicts Nigeria could generate over $500 million annually by 2030, creating more than 3 million jobs. Amos further emphasized that investment in green projects will stimulate innovation and contribute to Nigeria's economic development. Green funds valued at $23 billion in 2024 have been pledged to major climate change organizations. They have also urged the National Climate Council to enforce the requirements for MDAs and companies with staff to implement sustainable plans effectively. Cognizance, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, that encouraging green practices is crucial for a sustainable future for Nigerians and fulfilling domestic and international climate obligations. Also cognizance that integrating green projects into government operations can contribute to global goals and reap economic and environmental benefits through commitment, coordination, and long-term vision.